presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We have Shane Smolian back, folks, for another segment uh, before he goes to pick up his lovely daughter. Uh, and anyway, I would like to ask you another question about the Bradley model. I know you talked about this sure. Saturn cycle uh, yes, before, yes. but Saturn is such a slow-moving uh, planet. I mean, you know, it's way out there. How, how, how do you get any numbers that uh, give you enough samples to see? Well, that's a very good question. That's that's probably one of the last planets you can get a full harmonic on, and yeah. you can get a few. I mean, it's it's you go back to Dow Jones goes back to the 1800s. You can get a few. You can get three or four cycles on that. Um, so that's about the last one. When you get up to uh, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, you got to take what's called a harmonic. You got to divide it out by two, divide it out by four. Pluto, mm -hmm. you got to divide it out by twelve. Uh, it's not as accurate that way, but I, I think we've got enough cycles here. Uh, this is as Saturn passes through the signs, uh, and I, I just think that this is this is a positive here. And I talked about this before. Uh, you remember, the United States is the sign of Cancer. This is a water sign. That's the supportive energy for the United States. And this again, this is up for about two, about two years. Uh, and I, I really, you know, I like this astro forecasting when it's in alignment with what the fed is doing i mean we see the fed pushing up so i I've, i have found since 2009 that when uh, these two are in alignment to the upside you tend to get uh higher markets it, it, t it just tends to play out that way because everything changed since 2009 uh so i really like that plus if you look at this shorter term here in this trough that i was talking about uh, uh this is going to be headed up if you look at this may june july this is also the period where the solar activity dies down, right? So once again, uh, and this is bullish. So for those of you who don't know, uh, I, I've done a series on solar storms. And essentially, the Fed wrote a paper. This is a paper from the Federal Reserve of Atlanta. They wrote a whole paper about how the stock market goes down every time, or not every yeah. time, but most of the time when these big storms come. And so this is the published data from the Federal Reserve. So once these start to come down like this, that's bullish. So when I, I kind of put, you know, when I see all these little pieces all in agreement and no matter, I try to look at things, always try to look at things from many different angles. And when you start to see this many pieces line up like this, to me, I think that's, that's a bullish thing. And so even like even the solar eclipse here, you know, that lunar eclipses and solar eclipses, they, they occur in pairs often, right? And usually the lunar eclipses are the negative events for markets, but the solar eclipses are, are generally positive. I mean, generally you see a rally in the markets, and a lot of this is because on the, on the left side of this graph, that's when the lunar eclipse comes first, and then it pushes the markets down, and then it rebounds up on the solar cycle, because a lot of times they're within a few days of each other. So, But this generally is a positive thing. Now, the Bradley here. Bradley model makes this high, uh, and every, this is a fan favorite. Everybody loves the Bradley, of course. So Bradley makes this high right around May into here. Um, now, here's the thing about the Bradley, and I did I did a, a series on this. It's on my website. I think it's still there. If you go to the homepage where I, I talked about uh, the Bradley, when the Fed is not strongly involved, like when there's no Q, you know, you know, before, when there was no QE. I know there's no QE now, but the Fed is being very strong behind the scenes especially with this whole facility they just launched for the banks. Um, but when the Fed is weak, the Bradley tends to be very good. And we saw this, you know, you follow this in 2008, Larry, 2009, especially with Arch. You guys were calling these turns like to the day uh, using yeah, the Bradley. It was like magic back in those days, that's for sure. Yeah, and, and, and but the minute that everything changed in 2009, now all the rules have changed, and this stuff really kind of takes a back seat. And so I like, I like to use it. Uh, particularly when it's in alignment with what the Fed is doing. And right now, that's to the upside. Uh, so, And the other thing, problem with the Bradley is that it can invert. So when you see these turning points here, this could actually be a low. This could be a low in, instead of just a high. So 
Uh, that's one of the issues with the Bradley. I don't get that issue as much with the Saturn cycle. It tends to be more uh -huh. direct in what it's doing. Uh, so, you know, that's that's one of the advantages. So now this Saturn cycle here, just so you know, this short term cycle, I'm actually combining a bunch of planets here, Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, uh, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, all against Saturn. So it, orbiting around a like, relative orbit around Saturn. And this is a combined uh -huh. cycle of multiple cycles here. So you're, you're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different cycles here. Pluto's a 12th harmonic, but eight different cycles here that we've combined around Pluto or Saturn. And they're all saying the same thing up. So, you know, to me, this, this looks pretty clean. I mean, I, you know, I know everyone's talking about recession and this and that and credit crunch and M2 and, you know, pick your, pick your poison. But my experience is since 2009, when I just started following what the fed was doing, what the fed was, you know, the fed juices, when the fed internals are pushing up, when the fed juice is in a buy, you know, I don't think about it. I don't overthink this stuff. I just go with the signal. And that's that's what we did in December of 2021 all the way down into October 2022. I stayed short the whole time, except for like when I had to roll over the, the futures contract every every three months. I was essentially short the whole time. It was like one or two days there where I wasn't. But I stayed short because the Fed, you said it was going down. Now it says the opposite. It says it's going up. So I don't I don't really try to overthink this stuff. And I think one of the problems is that Everybody sees this recession coming and slowdowns, and, and that's true. That's true. I'm not going to say that it's not. But since 2009, the, the economy is, is not, so, it's not so correlated anymore with the stock market. It's really more correlated with what's happening yeah. with the Fed, quantitative easing, mortgage-backed securities. You know, All of these different uh, operations that they have really affect the flows of these markets, particularly the bond market too. So – I think that that's the main focus, and that's what I focus on. And so I don't, I don't overthink this stuff. Uh, you know, when it says buy, I buy. When it says sell, I sell. In terms of these signals, and so that's just my perspective. And it has been very good at making sense of the markets. And I, I tell people this all the time. One of the things that I try to do, like when 2009 hit, like I, I had really good trade. 2007, 2008, really good trading, and then the QE started, and like everything stopped working. All the signals went upside down and went crazy. So I had to rethink about what was happening with these markets. Why were they behaving the way they were reacting? What was different? And when I started realizing, well, the Fed is different. It's QE and all this stuff was happening. I changed all my models. And then now it all makes sense again. So this, I want to understand the markets. I want it to make sense. And so if you try to look at the traditional viewpoint now of these markets, it's not going to make sense because – the, the, the Fed is so dominant now with all of these operations and, and mm -hmm. you go down the list, especially during COVID, you know, I, 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 I was very bullish in, uh, in March and April of 2020. I don't know if you remember, I came on your show because why? Because I saw what the Fed was doing. And so if they were able to rescue the economy during a global shutdown, you think they're worried about a little recession? They're not worried about it. And so they caused this. This is my, my I'm telling you my line of thought here. They cause this, they can fix it. You know, we, we saw that with the banks. They can like and, and the Fed used to be very slow reacting. So this is what people love to say. Oh, the Fed is so slow and they take months to respond. And well, yeah, that was before 2009. Now they come out on a Sunday night and they launch a credit facility when a bank failed the Friday before. I mean, so they act very quickly now compared to before. Hey, go get, go take care of the princess <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Okay, buddy? Thanks, Larry. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Right back, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report? For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to get to natural gas in, in just a minute, but uh, had to, we had a question about a trade that we had uh, this week. You'll notice here, this was the hog chart, and uh, what happened was we had that beautiful 1.618 expansion down there. Uh, the market rallied $1,400. Uh, we were able to take some of that out, of course, and then the market has come down now and has made a new low. Folks, that's not a good sign. Uh, you know, it's not a, it could be, yeah, maybe it's a second chance to get in, but uh, uh, you'll have to wait till tomorrow to see that because uh, you, now your risk exposure is more than you'd like for it to be. So that's what we're paying attention to here to today. Now, I want to come back here for just a second and I want to get up the chart of the uh, natural gas because the natural gas, uh, hold on, where is it? Uh, you know, I had it right here. Ah, oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a second here, boys and girls. Let me get this up here. And I want to talk about this because we I trade this uh, occasionally. And uh, let's get the – I want to do it hourly so we can see it very clearly because we had some really good action today. And you'll be able to see it. Here's where we are. Uh, ha, okay. All right, now I'm going to uh, – Bring in one uh, measurement here, and then we're going to move on to the next one here to see what we are doing, because this is what I wanted to, to show uh, what's happening. Here is the natural gas. We'll get it up here so we'll be able to all see it. Now, this, I didn't put anything on it. All I did was to put the retracement on, because here is what I was watching this morning. I was watching for this 382 retracement. You'll see it gets sell it here. And that was at uh, 20, ooh, 20.24. And we went all the way down. We dropped $700. And now we've come right back up to it again. So this is telling us that this probably, because this being a significant low down in here, is telling us that this may be the last correction we're going to get before this market goes up. You notice how the market 
quickly takes back over 80% of that. That's John Hill's yum yum trade. So that tells us if you buy it here, you know exactly what your stop is, just like if you were selling the 3A2. I am not going to do that. The reason why is this could be just a retracement of another 3A2 off of this low right here. So I'm going to wait for a very significant AB equals CD pattern, and that's the one that I would like to look at. Okay. <laughs> Shane is just making a little joke about flipping burgers. They won't let me work at McDonald's because I eat up most of the profits. I don't eat McDonald's stuff, folks. I love their milkshakes, which I have about once a month, and I love their pancakes and their uh, – uh, what do they cost? <laughs> Oatmeal. But other than that, not a chance. Okay, let's move on here and cover a couple of other things that uh, we want to cover. Now, let me do one other thing with the natural gas because it's – it's uh, if I put it in here somewhere – oh, dear. Are you kidding me? Boy, I tell you, folks, I tell you, I'm missing a couple things here, and that really, it really bothers the heck out of me. So give me a second here. And I'm trying to get this natural gas. I don't believe I put the natural gas in the in the in the newsletter this month or this week. By golly, I certainly didn't. I be darn. Oh boy, got to write myself a note about that one. Shut the front door and raise the rent. All right, now we got a question about this: the uh, orange metal, copper. Let's get this up here and take a look at it. It's been acting very bullish, folks. This goes along. With what, uh, yeah, someone said that McDonald's coffee is the best. Hey, listen, for $1, you get a large coffee, and you can go to McDonald's, uh, order that place across the street that uh, has Astro related to it. I don't know what it's called, Moonburst or something like that. So, anyway, whatever it is. Anyway, you can get that same coffee for three seventy eight, or you can go as high as seven ninety eight and get a... Uh, whatever those things are with cinnamon and all the other stuff that's involved with it. Okay, uh, let's take a look here at the copper. You see we had the 135 pattern acted very nicely. Here was the whole run here, folks, right here. This is when the stock market was bottoming. We're right there at exact 382 off of the bottom. Perfect ABCD right out of Gartley's book, page 222. You know, buy that first ABCD correction in a bull market, and that's what you want to be looking for, Okay. And remember, all of these patterns are related to risk control. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And that therein lies the key. That is the key to what we're paying attention to when we do these patterns. All right. Now, let's move on for another one that someone's asked about. This is about the silver. And silver, I want to get this up here because silver came down. And what we did was we made a slightly lower low yesterday, just a little tiny bit below the 382 level right in here. The silver came right down to the 50% level right here, and then it's rallied back strongly. I mean, folks, I would not be surprised, and I mean this sincerely, that you come in someday and silver is going to be up like $2 or $2.50 or something like that. And if silver ever closes above $55 an ounce, it will go to $100 an ounce because it's getting in short supply. And uh, more and more people want to buy it because it's the poor man's gold. And uh, anyway, that's what I see. I play poker with these dudes here in uh, Tucson, and none of them own gold, almost all at will. There's a few, but most of the folks have silver. And uh, they, they love their coins. In fact, many of them use the silver dollars as, they, to, as a card marker so that when they have their cards. And we've got another caller coming in. Are you kidding me? Two in one day? From Palm Harbor, we got Jim on the line. ESM. Tell me what that is, my friend. Uh, it's actually the ES Mini, Larry. Okay. Uh, I didn't know if you pulled up the chart. You know, it's really, well, it's not funny. Um, as you're talking to Shane and he's saying how everything's turned bullish, I'm looking at this ABCD on the E Mini from 8 o'clock this morning huh. at that low up to about 11 o'clock. And then we came down to about 41.52 and it's almost a perfect ABCD to 41.70, 71. Yep. Yep. And while he's talking, I'm going, I'm looking at advanced declines are negative, so I go ahead and short the E-mini at 41.68. And 
It's worked so out I guess you got to trade what you see and not what you listen to sometimes. <laughs> you know, I, I really respect him because he's one smart dude. He's a physicist uh, by by you know by training and stuff, and he's 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 a self-taught astrologer, so he's very good, and he's got a great track record. But his link of timing of a trade is different than mine, Jim. Mine's based exactly. on how much I have to risk. Like the tr fact is, when I started this show, we were making the sixty-one percent retracement at forty-one seventy. I said, you know, yep. you sell it here, you risk six points. Well, you made more than six points if you're in that thing. But you know, that's all. It's that's what it's all about. It's just about risk control, and that's that's why I like it so much. That's what keeps me here every day. You know, I mean, that's uh, and I like it. I mean, it's like playing a giant chess game for me. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose, but. I win more than I lose, and that's the best part of it, you know. <laughs> one, of, one of my questions is I've got so many FIB charts, you know, uh, and I guess I almost should probably just clear it, because, but it's been hitting these numbers for the last two days. Yes. You know, after that late rally, Listen, late in the afternoon, yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's going like 786. I want, I want to talk to you about a poker story, and I want to tell you about Silver Rounds. Please stay with us. Yes, we like poker. Yes, I do like that. I'll be playing Saturday. We'll be right back with Jim from Palm Harbor, Florida. Just after we pay a few bills, folks. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Jim from Florida, and he wants to give us a poker story. What is it, my friend? Um, last trip to Vegas, a uh, little, little tournament. Um, $150 entry fee. They expect usually 200 to 250 people. And they started at 10 in the morning, and it shocked me. They started with three people at the table. So they give you 20,000 chips. You've got 30-minute blind levels. Sure. Very first hand, pocket aces. 
<laughs> so the, I was on the button, so you got a hundred dollar chip, a hundred dollar chip. I got to call the hundred dollar chip with the um, with the pocket aces, flop and ace. Check, check, Ooh. check. Turn, check, check, check. There's a king that comes. Uh, no, there wasn't a king. It was the king on a turn, excuse me, and the ace on a river. So I got quad aces very first hand. Uh, I make a $100 bet, and the other two guys fold. <laughs> that was my best hand of the day. So it's, and I'm sure you've I, seen, I, seen I, that. I've been there straight that, flush so or whatever, and, and then uh, they all go downhill after that. Yeah, you don't see quads very often, that's for sure. But anyway, it's it's exciting to play the game. And we have a two little casinos here, and we play Texas Hold'em, of course, and uh, low limit. You know, we play four, eight, and then we play one, uh, one and two, no limit occasionally. But the tournaments are a lot of fun. It's sixty-five dollars is the maximum, and the casino throws in about a thousand bucks. So if you win, you win about eight hundred dollars for your sixty-five. You finish in the money, you win a couple hundred. Mm-hmm. So. It yep. makes it fun. Oh, good Keeps way to my, spend spend a couple hours w- with uh, just forgetting about the world. Uh, yeah. There's a uh, a wholesaler coin dealer that I've known for 30 years. I mean, their their claim to fame is that you place your order by four o'clock, they will have it shipped that same day, wow. ex- except when there's a snowstorm or stuff like that. So yeah. this is what they are paying. They are buying. This is what the dealer price is. If you have a a solid tube of silver round, not silver rounds, the Eagles. They are paying seven dollars over spot right now, wow. um, and they have none to sell. And the same 30%. thing with um, gold Eagles 30%. right now. They are wow. paying you spot plus two and a half percent. Gold wow. Buffalo spot plus two and a half percent. Maple Leafs spot plus one and a quarter. Yeah. And just the generic silver rounds. Um, I'm looking here on their chart. They are paying a dollar over spot for 100 ounce Engelhard bars, and um, what else oh, are they paying? God. Platinum. They're paying seventy five dollars over spot for uh, the silver, platinum the silver eagles. Is just off the charts. So it, it just it's just amazing. I, I, you try to rationalize what is what is the real price? I guess what people will pay, but there is a shortage out there. Um, people want it. I'm, I'm sure. Just, so it tells you that. Now, the only other question, I had not pulled up the platinum chart until a couple of days ago, and I uh, guess I really must have missed that when platinum went down to 860, and now the spot platinum is um, 1101 right now. Yeah, I know. It sure is. It's uh, it's exploded to the upside and has been uh, very, very powerful. So it's another one of those. But, but silver is one of those I think it literally – come in someday and you can say, wow, where it happened, you can't buy it. And with those premiums right. like that, I mean, that's just uh, out, that's just off the charts. Well, thanks to you years ago when you said, you know, buy those silver rounds that, that I've got a <laughs> they couple were, boxes they were $9. at $12 and 13 <laughs> yeah, uh, I remember. I'm pretty happy yeah. about that. I, and I've got a couple hundred-ounce Engelhardt bars that I use at doorstops. That, oh, um, wow. Yeah, well, that's good. They, well, they work on, satisfactory. Gonna, gonna, you know, and one last yeah. question. On that short that we're shorted the E mini at forty one sixty eight and I'm yes. see a print of forty one fifty five. Yes. Where would you put your stop? Uh, I'd move my stop to forty one fifty nine. Okay. So if, if your trace is more than eighty percent of this last bar, you don't want it. This way you're risk free, you lock in, you know, you lock in five hundred bucks or you're gonna make a lot of money. One of the two. Right. Okay. Okay. All right, buddy. I appreciate hey, listen, everything you do. Have a good in. time yeah. and enjoy your your time off. Yeah, make sure. Oh, I will. Yeah, well, I'm going to be in Vegas, and they're going to, I have some friends coming in from Dubai and other places where we get to visit, and I, I get to play in two small tournaments, you know, $100 buy-in. So, but mm-hmm. it, it's, you know, it's it's not work, but you know, you get to see a lot of people that you haven't seen in a while, so it'll be fun. But hey, thanks for calling in. I, I really do appreciate it, buddy. It's uh, very important to have the support that we have from you. I appreciate everything you've done for us over the years. Okay, thank be well. you. You bet. That's Jim from Palm Harbor. All right, let's move on. Make sure I send him 20 bucks before it's all over. Got to show you something here, folks, because this is one that we were talking about last week, and I'm going to bring it up to your attention because it is literally, uh, and we're going to try to do it a couple different ways, and I'll show you right now. There is the uh, 
pattern that we were looking at in the heating oil. If you remember, we got that from our good friend, Mike Moore, who will be our guest tomorrow. Mike will be on for both segments, uh, well, at least one segment tomorrow and possibly two. And that's why we're watching it, because remember the one that I posted yesterday, I hope you kept a, a picture of it, because when that thing broke out to the downside, I don't, you know what, since I'm running this show, let's just do it right now. Oh, shut the front door. Little little Jimmy from Palm Harbor, has got a, he's got a Katui running here. These markets are starting to give it all back real quick. Hold on, let's just get this heating oil up, because it's really an interesting one. And uh, this is one of the things that I'm going to be doing, and hopefully with our, our good friend Tom Hugard, I'm thinking of doing a day trading, a five-hour trading session with Tommy Hugard and myself shortly. But uh, let's uh, that'll be a that'll be a home run because he is uh, he's a monster. <laughs> okay, here is the uh, chart I wanted to show you. This is another one of those. Uh, oh, oh. Hang on. Good old Palo Verdes. Uh, okay, here we go. Anyway, you'll see here, this is the, uh, when we broke through here three days ago, folks, we brought your attention here. And remember, this is when the Saudis were dropping um, production, right? The crude oil, well, pr crude oil is gasoline and heating oil. So that's, that's why the news is uh, baloney about three-fourths of the time. The other three-fourths of the time... <laughs> Shouldn't have done the second show, but by golly, I enjoy this a lot. So we're going to keep on doing it. Anyway, pay attention to those because those are going to be really exciting patterns. The thing that they got going for them is the fact that they – wow, hold on one second. Take a little break here. Uh-oh, something's beeping. That's always a good thing when it's beeping. Hold on, hold on. Oh, my goodness, they're really getting to the old uh, – the old Dow Jones, boy, they're really beating it up now. Wow, 40, we're down, we're now down 20 handles in the old, uh, oh, my goodness, hold on. <clears throat> so I've been mean to uh, do this, it's just been knock, knocking me dead. <clears throat> wow, we're not, not very far here. If we close badly today, folks, below that 30, 3,800, that is not going to be a good sign for the stock market. Because that ABCD means it could only rally to the 38% retracement level. And that's my real voice, believe it or not. Holy cow. Let's go to take a break here, I think. We've got the, maybe this uh, clock will, will rescue me here, and we'll see if we can. Yep, it's going to rescue me. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at 
tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, this is Billy Ray Valentine reporting from the intensive care ward here at Tucson Medical Center. This is the e-mini that I posted here when we went on the air. There was the uh, FIB number. You can see the ABCD measures perfectly here to 4175. 4170.5. Here's what I wanted to show you. You see this pattern here last night? This is the key. Because this little pattern right there was an ABCD exactly at the 382. Just absolutely spot on. And then right after that, look what happens. You have a 1, 3, 5 pattern. And once you break this, uh-oh. And once you break this, that means there's seriousness coming in. This is where Tom Hugard really presses. Is when these things break these levels. And he just starts selling and selling. He's got a rule that whenever he, he's ready to take profits, he adds more. And uh, I don't know how he does it, but boy, he is an animal. But he does really good 28% of the time. The other time, he loses. But boy, when he makes it, he makes it big. And when he loses, he loses little. He eats like a bird and, you know, like an elephant. That's what you got to learn to do as you're doing these things uh, here today. So keep it very, very close eye on that kind of stuff because if you can learn to do that and i i don't have the chutzpah anymore i'm a i'm a nickel diver well let's say quarter half anyway I, I do like the trading part every day when i come in i'm looking for value or uh, getting rid of something you know that kind of stuff and so those are the things that i'm sort of paying attention to here as we look today okay now, let's move on here for a second. Let me check a couple things here because my alerts are going off like crazy. If we take out that low in the S&P, which was not very far away, that's not going to be a very good sign. So let's move on here and get these charts lined up. And I want to do one other thing here in the uh, menu with the uh, – I got a tile vertical. I want to get the natural gas up here and show you uh, another pattern that we were watching here just recently. And we'll get this daily up because uh, we've had several attempts now at the 382. Let me get this up here. Uh, I've got to put it into the file first, and then we'll get up and take a quick look at it because there's a couple good trades lining up here uh, in the natural gas. And as I bring it up, I think this is it right here. This is it up to date as a few moments ago. And as we take a look at this, we're beginning to see the earmarks. You can see, the, oops, let's get it up here so everybody can see it. You can see, you can look at this right here. We're sitting right at uh, 382 here. 
two days in a row. And if you looked at it real closely this morning, you could you could have seen that cell just clear as a bell. And then we come down and we make a 61% retracement of this low right here. This is going to lead to an A, B, C, D move uh, to the upside. The second part of this might be that it's going to form a nice little guardly down in here. And that's what you'd like to see because that gives you your best risk reward that you can possibly get. So I'll be doing the videos about that uh, over the course of the night. Remember, we look at the bonds yesterday and the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Treasury notes. Both of those turned out to be very good trades. And so we'll see. The only loser that we had was the uh, uh, was the uh, Hello operator, the uh, <laughs> soybeans. We lost 10 cents in soybeans. We bought the July at uh, 75, 14.75. We're out at 14.65. And now we have to wait and see you know, what the next segment's going to be. We've got a lot of time between now and when they start growing, let alone they're planted. Most, some of, most of, no, it's the middle of, it's April. Yeah, we got to be, we got to be planted. Most of that stuff is planted now for sure. Because as they say, in corn is high as an elephant eye on the 4th of July. So it's got to be growing pretty quick here. Beans are right behind it. And then wheat is in a different area. Okay, now that's pretty much, let me check something here, folks, because I have some things on that I want to be making sure that it uh, continues to work in the direction that I want it to work. And so far, that seems to be doing okay. We'll have to wait and see if these things are going to hold up the way they do. But one thing leads to another. And we will find out shortly enough. What I do is when the market starts to break first, the first thing I do is I look for a 382 retracement to uh, to sell the market. And uh, these work quite nicely, you know, in both uh, up markets and down markets. So uh, it's important that we pay attention to our water positions is what I'm doing this uh, program because, uh, boy, I, can, I don't know if you can hear what's going on outside, folks, but the, F, the, F, the F-16s. From uh, Davis Montan Air Force Base are, are are flying over the mountains, and the mountains are right next to me, and it, they're shaking the windows. <coughs> so, this is not you don't want to get in front of that for sure. Oh boy, rattlesnakes F-16. Holy cow, this is almost like Top Gun's Top Gun uh, uh, area. Anyway. Okay, let's see. We had one other one that I was asked to talk about. Give me a second, and I'll pull her right up here in the old futures department, and that is the old gasoline because that has been the one that has been leading. Believe it, folks. Uh, I use a, a special gas, in, well, uh, premium gas in my car, and uh, I pay $5.60 for a gallon of gasoline. Are you kidding me? Look at, the, look at this beautiful three-drive-to-a-top pattern. Don't they see this? I mean, look at this. This thing's getting ready to go lower, and yet they're raising the price of gasoline. Heating oil's falling out of bed, and crude oil is uh, not doing much better. So somebody must know something about gasoline. Yeah, I know it's a seasonal, and people are out driving their cars, but uh, do they have to do it to us poor people? And we do we have another caller, two in one day, shut the front door and raise the rent. Michael from Poland. Yaksimash, my friend. How are you? Dzień dobry, pan Larry, president. Oh, Yaksimash. Dobrze. What can I do for you, my Dobrze. friend? Dobrze. Wiem, co ma problemu. Ty może pokaż rosyjski rubel na chart. Oh, the I don't don't do it. Can't trade it, so I don't do it. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. uh, how about Amerykanski dollar? The Polish dollar. No, I don't do that one either. So you don't have a chart of the American dollar, U.S. dollar at oh, all, yeah, huh? Oh, yeah, the U.S. dollar chart, sure. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. Yes, hang on just a second. That's I what can I get meant. that up. That, oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Comrade Larry. <laughs> I happened to, uh, my first... Uh, my, um, the the uh, 82nd Airborne, 101st Airborne Regiment uh, soldiers here where I'm staying, um, they're nervous. They're in well, a bad they mood. Should be. There's a lot of bad so people something, out Something's there. brewing. Yeah, something's yeah. very brewing. The soil in Ukraine is still soft. It's it's still like muddy, uh -huh. you know. So when you put an armored personnel carrier or a, a uh -huh. leopard tank, uh, it will still sink, you know. Uh -huh. Like it's still uh -huh. muddy. Okay. But uh -huh. Uh, there's been a lot of movement here. 
you know, from Poland to Ukraine. They're mm-hmm. they're moving a lot of artillery. Okay. So I'm thinking wow. maybe the market's got a wind of what's happening. Wow. And that's why we're down. Uh, who knows? There could be. A well, the VIX is suddenly a reverse course. I was down, now reverse. Yeah, hold on. Let's green. get up here. All right, there we go, my friend. Anyway, thanks for calling in, Mike. Really appreciate it, buddy. That's it? Okay. You got it. All right. Thanks, pal. Got to pay attention to that guy. Folks, he's over there in the middle of that war stuff, so he must know something, that's for sure. Let's get up and see what's going on. Hold on one second here, and we'll check and see what we're doing with some of these other things here. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I've uh, pushed the chart of the, uh, hold on, hold on just a second here. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to answer a Skype message and, and think at the same time it's not in the cards. Let's uh, anyway. We've got the stocks right near the low of the day with an hour to go. They could go either way from here, of course. But uh, very, very important bottom down there at 33,800. We're at 33,868 today, so it's uh, it's not very far away from uh, where we are right now. Uh, the dollar being strong a week today tells us that, yes, there's certain things in the political environment that may be causing this because many countries want to disassociate themselves from the U.S. dollar, particularly petrodollars. 
after we've been protecting the Middle East for so many years, they think they can get along without us. Well, good luck with that. We've seen how that tune plays out over a period of time. So let's remember ourselves, folks, and it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. So put stops in the market because if you don't, and if you don't, that's telling you that you know more than Mr. Market does, or Mrs. Market does. You know, she doesn't. She doesn't like that uh, very much at all. So it's going to be fun here. Remember, folks, uh, tomorrow's guest will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. He's the one that told us to get ready to sell crude and uh, heating, especially heating oil, because he was looking for much lower prices in heating oil, given to the fact that it's a strong seasonal for heating oil to go down during that time. So I think it's important that we pay close attention to, uh, to what Mike has to say. He's got some great stuff. That's for sure. So I think that how much I don't know how much we've got. We've got a little bit more, little one more, a little bit of a segment. Uh, that is about the gold market. We're trading at 2017. Uh, I think there's a lot of support down there, and you believe it. I'm not going to tell you a price you won't believe. 1763. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm. 